Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another chatty vlog. So I'm gonna give you a warning right now. This is going to be a longer one because it's long overdue. I have been promising you guys another chatty vlog for a while now. Um, and just things get away from me on the days that I can do them, which are Thursdays and Fridays because I work from home. So, you know, I, I feel like my lunches are longer because I don't have that drive time to home, my drive time back to work. Even though I live just a little over a mile from work, it's still a pretty busy road that I have to go on and sometimes you just never know. Um, even my little road that I live on, it can get backed up with traffic pretty quickly because it's only 25 and there's only just a few of us that go 25, but you have deer, you have turkeys, <laughs> you have kids, you have people walking their dogs. We have no sidewalks. So I take the, sometimes I take the um, busier road because it, it's a little bit quicker and faster and less dangerous to go on. <laughs> um, anyway, so on Thursdays and Fridays, I'm at home the entire time. Uh, so those are the days and just some of the days just get away from me. So I'm making an effort today. We are going to do it. It is 7.05. I don't start work till 7.30. I'll probably, um, no, I'm not going to start early today because I have a lot I need to get done these next couple of days. Um, I'm just kind of behind on my budgeting, speaking of which, um, well, first, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jess. Um, this chatty vlog is one that I get a lot of requests for. And what is it? It's really just a vlog where I just talk about everything and anything. Sometimes there's some TM, TMI stuff. So um, because we are in perimenopause um, and we talk about that. So if you don't like these longer chattier, chattier videos, not all my videos are like this at all. I also do grocery hauls, meal preps, regular, just what I eat in a week, what I eat in a day videos, which I try to keep a lot less chattier, but they do have some chatting in those what I eat in a day because I can't help myself, but they are more about my food and what I'm eating. These videos, you're gonna see just more lifestyle stuff. What am I doing? What kind of new products am I doing? Am I, am I using? Um, if I go shopping for anything, I'll show you some stuff. You'll see a grocery, I'm gonna show you some stuff I picked up at Grocery Outlet this last weekend. So things like that, but they are tend to be longer and people really like them. So if you like all the kind of videos I just mentioned and you wanna subscribe, I would be happy if you did and hit the notification bell. Also, I'm over on Instagram, which I feel very proud of myself this week because I actually posted a few times over there this week. Um, so in this video today though, what I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna try to do these chatty vlogs every week, either film on a Thursday or a Friday and have one up every Wednesday. That is my plan. So trying to put it out there so I do it because I love, love, love. These are like one of my favorite videos to film because it's just like chatting with friends. And that's what you guys are. A lot of you have been around as long as I've been around here and it's just, it's just fun to chat. One of the things that I need to do today is get my budget up and going. So for those again, who've been around, my husband recently um, had to take a different job and that job was $7 less an hour. So budgeting, I have got to do it because our little cushion we had from um, you know, the job he was working where he was making quite a bit more, um, to now we had like a little cushion. I thought I heard my animals fighting. My two dogs lately have been fighting. I don't know what's going on with them. They're older dogs. So maybe it's just a temperamental thing. I don't know, <laughs> but we had like a little bit of a cushion. Um, and that's not counting our savings. We have a small savings, not a whole lot, but we have a savings but just the cushion in our checking account. And I've noticed it, you know, the cushion's starting to go down. So I have got to budget. Um, and this is the only Clever Fox um, planner I have not, well, no, I don't know if I've talked about the weekly planner. The meal planners, love, 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 love. Um, and you guys know, I used to have a different Clever Fox budget planner that I bought a couple years ago. Do you guys remember that one? It was one that had like pockets and stuff to stick things in. Um, the only thing with that one is it just, it was so big and I, I have a new purse coming today. Oh, I got it on TikTok. I hope it comes early enough. I can show it in this video. Um, since I won't be editing this video until this weekend, cause it's not going up till Wednesday. I actually already will for sure show it to you in this video. Um, anyway, it's a little bit bigger. So I'm hoping I can fit my budget planner and my like meal planner, which I'm now using as like my weekly planner. Cause I wasn't as, 
I like the weekly planner from Clever Fox and I, I need to show you guys an up, um, an up close of that because it may work for some people. It's just for me, the meal planner is more also like a weekly planner and it has everything in it in one thing. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna be using that one instead of both. I was thinking I was gonna use both, the meal planner mainly for meal planning and then weekly planner to track stuff, but I kinda like the meal planner better. So, but you guys can't go wrong with Clever Fox, you guys know that. Um, and they're not paying me to say that. Just so you know, you know, if you've been, if you've been around for a while, you know, Clever Fox, I've been loving them. Actually, it was one of you guys that told me about them on Amazon and that's how I found them. Anyway, so this planner is a lot smaller. See how much smaller? The other one, if you remember, it was big. Like I said, it had pockets, which was great to put your bills in. But now I have gone mostly paperless with our bills. So um, I think I only get one two i get two and it's because they're the ones like my garbage bill and my water bill because we only get those i, I want and this is the thing is if i budgeted i would know either every other month or every three months i can't remember it's quarterly i'm pretty sure my garbage bill is every three months and my water bill is every other month um and those only ones i get in paper because again i i need to remember <laughs> when those are and i don't get anything else in paper so i I decided that I was going to pick up one that was um, not as big so then I could put this in my bag and not um, and then have it if I need to add something to it or maybe I purchased something and I want to add it right away rather than waiting because y'all know how we are about waiting and this doesn't get done. So anyway, this is the one I got. This is the Clever Fox Budget Planner Updated Monthly Budget Planner. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this today, but and then later on, I don't, when I have more time, I need to go make my husband's lunch. Um, I will show you more of it up close, you know, what each kind of month looks like. So I wanna do that today. I need to get that set up. I need to edit my um, what I eat in a day, which I only did two days this week because we had functions all day yesterday, um, new hire trainings, department meetings, department birthday. I mean, there was all the things going on yesterday, so I could not film. Um, yeah, so, and I'll show you some grocery outlet stuff I picked out. I found some really good finds at Grocery Outlet this week. And so I'll show you those. Um, depending on how the day goes, I may even be able to show you my nighttime skincare routine. I get a lot of comments on my skin. Um, I'm not bragging or anything because it's taken me a long time to get it to where I'm loving it. And it's because of my morning and nighttime routine. So um, if I get a chance in this video, I will show you both my AM and my PM products. And I feel like, did I just do that recently? I don't think so. I don't remember. Um, I have my protein coffee here. Uh, oh, and, and I want to get my... Um, weekly planner set up for next week because um, I went, I did so late working on that as well. And I wanna do my nails tonight, but I won't do that until later on tonight, but I'll show you the ones I'm going to put on. Um, I need to wash my hair and stuff tonight, so it won't be till late, late tonight that I'm working on my nails because I like them to kind of dry for a couple hours after I get, you know, them wet. I like my nail beds to kind of be super dry because that's the kind of the key to keeping them on. Um, this is, the Atkins Cafe Caramel uh, Protein Shake. My Quest ones will be here on March 23rd. Thank goodness, because my Walmart just does not carry them anymore. This week, one of you told me to try the Quest Vanilla um, in my coffee, because one thing I'm really missing is I feel like I'm not getting as much protein throughout the day, because these Atkins ones are only 15 grams, and all the other ones are 30. But I'm just not loving the Premier Protein lately. My tastes are changing so much, you guys, especially like this week, we are maybe having a period start or maybe not. I think this is going to be one of those months where I just have PMS the entire time. So I had PMS pretty much this entire week. I was supposed to start Monday and today's Thursday, but I've had like all the symptoms since like Friday and Saturday. Um, one thing I'm not having though, which I was going to talk about this in my weekly update video, but one thing I'm not having is the bloating and I think the greens are helping with that because if you guys remember, I've been getting extreme, extreme, extreme bloating during my PMS. That's one thing that I've changed in my cycle. That and the nausea have been two things that have changed since I've started perimenopause 
And, um, but if you also know, like sometimes my cycle, it's like, it went from perfect to 55, but between like 45 to 55 day cycle to a 21 day cycle these last few months. And then now, but now I think I'm going to go to that routine where I just have PMS the entire time and all the symptoms of having one without actually having one, but you would think you're having one because you're having the cramping and a little bit of spotting and, um, you're having the, um, for me, the nausea and just, oh my gosh, guys, I have no energy, like zapped. Like I am falling asleep at 8.30 at night. I am, I mean, I just, so low energy, so, so low energy. Irritability, not as much patience, and I have little patience anyway, but my patience is even less, which is, uh, you know, what always been one of my PMS signs. So, I don't know. I don't know what this one will bring. We'll see, but it's been kind of a week, um, but it hasn't been bad. It's just, you know, just when you have PMS every single day for 10 days, but nothing, it's like, okay, how long is this going to go on? The last time that was doing this, I want to say around June or July of last year, and it was like it every month. And like, wasn't it like in August, I had an entire like 30 days of PMS before I started like on August 31st. It was like the entire month of August was just so bad. And then I started on August 31st and then I didn't have another one till like middle of October. So I don't know y'all, it's just <laughs> perimenopause is so much fun. Um, I've been still doing really good on my bike, which is great. Um, but, and I, and I, I'm gonna say this right now, and I know none of you are gonna believe it, but I actually look forward to getting on my bike every single day. It is my way of waking up in the morning. I get on by like 5.15, 5.20, and I'm on it till six. Um, and that's just to stay within my routine because on the days that I work in office, I have to leave my house about five after 10 after seven. So that just, you know, if I get off at my bike at six, it gives me an hour to get everything, you know, all my self together, taking my breakfast, ready, get my husband's lunch done, all those things. So. Anyway, gotta go drink my coffee, make my husband's lunch. Um, here in a little bit, I'm gonna make a smoothie, but I'm not super hungry. As you guys know, I don't usually eat my breakfast until around 8, 8.30, so I do have a nine o'clock meeting. So I'll probably make the smoothie before my nine o'clock meeting because it never fails that I, um, cause we have a standing meeting every Thursday at nine and it never fails that I get on that call and then I'm like starving and cannot wait to get off the meeting so I can eat something. So <laughs> I think I'll make a smoothie before then and then we'll have our real breakfast after that. So I use this little clicker thing, which is running out of battery. My husband said he has a battery for it. It's one of those like round batteries, like who keeps those around? Um, anyway, so if you ever see me like, sometimes I don't think about it and I just hold it up. It's just, it's a remote to turn my um, camera on and off. And that way I'm not like reaching over to turn it off and I have to cut that part out of the video if it looks silly. It's just to keep things smooth. So that's what this is if you guys ever see it. Cause when I don't think about it, I'm just like, turn you off. I saw a smoothie. So this green fruit and veggie smoothie um, it, from Great Value, so Walmart, is really good. It's better than the Jamba green smoothie one. I just thought it was a lot better. And then I'm gonna combine it with the strawberry pure protein instead of using almond milk and protein powder because this is only one point where the protein powder is two points and the almond milk is one point. So this will only be a one point smoothie and actually more protein because there's more protein in this than there is in my protein powder. So gonna mix this up. Simple breakfast of two pieces of Sara Lee bread, one tablespoon of, I can't believe it's not butter light, spread between the two and two eggs. It's like 10.30 because, oh no, what time is it? Oh, wow, it's already 10.45. If I would have noticed what time it was, probably wouldn't have made this already, but I would have just, but I was feeling breakfast today, feeling breakfast. Well, I really wanted eggs and toast, but what happened always happens on Thursdays and Fridays when I'm at home. I, it is so hard for me to keep a scheduled feeding time. <laughs> is that the right term? I feel like an animal. Um, it, you know, because like I said, we have our standing meetings at nine. I was not hungry. I didn't even think about what time it was until somebody started the meeting. And I was like, oh, I didn't even make my smoothie yet. Then of course the meeting, you know, it actually got over on time. So it got over at 10, but then I already had two requests for 
calls that people needed some help with. So I had to go to back and back calls after that and I just got done. So I had my smoothie, had my breakfast at 10.45. So I'll probably end up eating lunch late, which means it'll push my dinner back. And I hate that. And I'm kind of excited for dinner. Like I wanna make some of those crispy tacos. Do y'all remember, like I was kind of a fail in meal prep. I made some of those tacos before and they didn't quite stay closed and I had a lot of issues with them. Um, so I'm gonna try them again tonight. Okay, let me show you the few things I picked up at Grocery Outlet. Um, so my plan was to put this in with my Saturday grocery haul, but um, my um, grooming appointment was canceled last minute on Saturday, which the groomers is right next to Grocery Outlet. So I thought I'll just go on Sunday. So I did. Um, I'm gonna taste test one of these things, and that is this Tazo Calm. It says a soothing and fusion of chamomile and herbs for a moment of calm. Caffeine free, so I thought this one might be a nice little treat in the evening. Um, it does have some added sugars, but it's only 20 calories even with the added sugars, so I'm guessing this is probably gonna be a point. I don't know. We'll just see. Oh, it kinda has a funky smell. Okay. Promise this is not an alcoholic. I'm just, um, drinking it in a wine glass. Okay. I'm not sure that I like that. I really like chamomile tea, but it's the herb part. You know, like I am having like this weird thing with certain herbs, obviously. And I can't tell, let's see, we have lemongrass, hibiscus. Now hibiscus can be a kind of a strong tasting flower. So we have water, organic chamomile, organic lemongrass, organic hibiscus, organic spearmint. I taste no spearmint at all. And then organic cane sugar. That's literally the only thing in this. So what, lemongrass is the only herb technically? I just don't know. It just smells really weird. Well, I'm glad it was only $1.89 um, and there was only one because I, yeah, I just don't think I like this. I don't know. It may be one of those things I have to drink a couple times to see. I can't get over the smell in this cup because it's, there's like not much in there. My whole nose is like getting like the full smell. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if I can recommend this if you see it. If you do find it at your grocery outlet, if you have one and you only have to spend $1.89, maybe just try it to see for $1.89. Don't know. Um, this is another one I don't know if I'm going to like. I did see when these came out, um, and this is the Root Beer Float Premier Protein. I did not pick any up because the only way I could buy them in my Walmart was a big 12 pack, kind of like the salted caramel popcorn, which that turned out to be really good. This was 99 cents at grocery outlet they had like two left so i picked up one um i need to chill it before i try it but i will let you know i'm kind of wondering like would this really even be a coffee thing i don't know i don't know let me know if you've tried this flavor and how you drink it speaking of coffee so y'all know my love for the new well i don't know if it's new but everybody is kind of talking about it now so i'm guessing it's new but it doesn't say new on the package which is weird right um, but the Stoke Espresso Blend, which I've been buying it in bulk, y'all. <laughs> like, I love that stuff. Um, but when I was at Grocery Outlet, they had the Extra Bold, which I've tried before and I like. No, been no big deal. But it was $2.49. The other ones right now have been on sale lately for $5.49. Regular price is like $6.99. I can never find them cheaper than $5.49. Um, but this was $2.49. I could, I had two, so I bought two. There was a ton. I, I was so tempted to buy like five of them, but it does have an expiration date on it, which I don't, I mean, it's coffee, right? I, I just, I don't get the expiration date, but it has one and it's like March 25th, which <laughs> that's a joke, <laughs> whether or not I'll drink all this by March 25th. We know we will, so I bought two of them. But 249, couldn't pass it up. Um, I will continue to buy the espresso blend ones because I'm just convinced they're gonna go away or my stores will be out of stock because so far only my Safeway has them. Oh, and my Fred Meyer, but my Walmart has not had them at all. 
and I'm just so afraid if I don't pick one up at least every single week when I'm at Safeway or Fred Meyer, which Fred Meyer's my Kroger store, by the way, if you're looking for, for it at Kroger. Um, I'm just afraid if I don't pick one up every week, then it's gonna go away. So I have my, my garage refrigerator right now has one because I did not buy any, was it last week or the week before? I think the week before. So um, anyway, I am gonna continue buying one of those because those are hands down like my favorite one. But how can you pass up $2.49 for a flavor you know you like? Now, if this has been the blonde one, I would not bought it because I do not like any blonde coffee and I definitely don't like the blonde stoke one. They also had the pumpkin, but it's a latte. It was like the, the, they had a couple of different ones of the latte ones, like the seasonal ones that have been passed. So they had pumpkin latte and they had um, one other latte one, but those ones are full of sugar and, um, and cream and all that. And I use this for protein coffee. The other thing which I have tried since I bought these, and these are the barbecue pop chips. Pop chips are so good, but these are things I cannot have in my house. Like. I knew better. I was hungry when I went in there, so I knew better than to buy these, but I've been actually very good. I've had two servings of these so far, which a serving is one ounce or 28 grams, which is quite a bit. There's five servings in this bag. The barbecue ones, I never had the barbecue. Amazing, out of this world. But barbecue chips, like regular potato chips, are definitely one of those things that's hard for me to not go crazy over. And then the last two things were a couple of protein bars. Speaking of protein bars, uh, bars, I'm gonna give you a little update on these two that I bought last week. Um, which will explain kind of why I went for these ones um, also. So these are the One Crunch. Now, we, you've probably seen the One Bars. Like, I've seen them all in Walmart. Never seen this Crunch one, but I don't look for them either, so they could be there. Um, the One Bars are like, they're all covered in chocolate, and I think there might be some white chocolate ones, not positive. They're usually typically around six points. I believe this was four points. I technically, I technically, typically don't gravitate towards these because the calorie to protein ratio is not usually what I'm looking for in a protein bar. When I look for a protein bar, I try to keep it, which it doesn't always happen, but I try to keep the um, protein and the points within like, so like say it's like this has 160 calories. Ideally, I'd like to see 16 grams of protein and it has 12. So that's usually why I don't go for these ones as much, but it's, it's not like a deal breaker. And I think these scanned as four or five points, um, but this is the peanut butter chocolate chip. This was like $2.99, I want to say for the four pack. And then they had these individual ones, I bought two of them, of the Marshmallow Treat. These are 140 calories and 12 grams of protein. And I thought they would probably sound like Rice Krispie Treats. So I'm gonna try these. I'm not, I haven't tried them yet, but I will let you know what I think of these as well. All right, the lighting is not very good in here because of the way my window is situated in this room. Um, so this is the Clever Fox Budget Planner, Undated Monthly Budget Planner. I believe this color is like turquoise or something. Um, I recommend any colors because they're all really good. So the, oh, and here's what it's, so if you want to purchase it, here's what it's called, but I will link, I will link it down below along with all the planners that I'm using right now from them. So the parts that I am not very good about filling out, and that's like the beginning pages. So this is like my financial goals, but I do have some that over the next few years. So I will definitely be filling this out. And then mind map, I never do these ever either. Um, my strategy and my tactics. So honestly, I'll probably not fill out most of those important dates. So this would be like, say, if you pay quarterly taxes or when taxes are due, you know, or you could put on there, like if you have, like my mortgage payments always do the same time. Um, so I could put that in there, but I won't. But I think maybe putting your taxes due April 15th, you know, if you, like I said, and I do quarterly taxes um, for my YouTube stuff. So I'm, you know, I could put those dates in there as well. Um, then we have our monthly, monthly um, thing here. So we have this month's goals. We have checklist. So I guess if there's anything you want to make sure you accomplish, um, then a place to put your income, a place to put your savings and the amount. And it does have a little calendar. It is pretty little, but I think it's okay to put like I could just put electric or phone or you know when everything's due, water gas, all of that stuff, just kind of put, you know, lay it out there on the calendar. 
So I will definitely be doing that. And then we have our monthly budget, which this is the part that I really like about this one. So you can see here we have expense, budgeted, and actual. So right now I'm using one that's on the computer, but I do kind of like the idea of having a written one as well. Like I said, if I can just carry it with me. Oh, did my purse come in? Sorry, total, total like, um, like, <laughs> um, what is that? Squirrel, rabbit trail, whatever you call it. I was just thinking, I just had something delivered, but it went to my mailbox, so I'll have to go out there. Anyway, I want something I can also carry around with me that I can just kind of mark off, that I don't have to pull up the spreadsheet and all that, but I like the spreadsheet for calculating. So um, I'll probably still do that and just put it over here. I don't know, we'll see. But we have here, you know, under, we have like mortgage, insurance, maintenance, electricity, water, sewer, gas, heating, waste removal, phone, TV, internet, then a couple places to add in a couple things there. Then we have groceries, dining out, insurance, medical. We have car payment, insurance, fuel, maintenance, bus, train, taxi, subtotal. Uh, clothing, personal care, sports and gym. We have like student, oh, I for, didn't realize over here, we have categories, housing, uh, personal, food, loans, entertainment, uh, healthcare, transportation, and other. Now, usually also under entertainment, I usually, that's where I usually put like my Netflix and my Kindle Unlimited and all those subscription services. So I have a lot, <laughs> it's scary. Um, and then we have total budgeted, total actual, and the difference. So you can see what your budget kind of came out to be. So very simple. And then on these, there's just expense tracker. So this is where I thought what I could do, because obviously over here, like on my spreadsheet that I'd have through Google Docs for like groceries and dining out, I just continually add, you know, to that. Um, so since this is like budgeted and actual over here, I can put what my budget is for those for the month. And then I can kind of record my actuals over here because then we have date, description, category, and amount. So then as I, you know, that's why I'd like to carry it with me because sometimes I run errands on my lunch hour and I just try to throw receipts in my purse, but I don't always save them. Don't pull them out. Sometimes I put them in the bag. Sometimes they're in my car. But this way, at least, I can maybe just put them kind of in here, but then I can just record them on here. So when I go grocery shopping, when I just go to the store to pick up anything, when I get gas, I can just jot all that stuff down on here or even just pull up my phone and look at my app, my banking app, and just write those things in here. Because like I said, right now on the spreadsheet, I'm just kind of adding to each category, but I don't really have it you know, spelled out, which I think this will help me with my spending by having it actually here in my face. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four, four pages for the month, which is, which is good. I hope I would never fill in all four of those pages. Then our monthly budget review, so what we have here, we have our opening balance, our total income, total expenses, difference, total savings, balance forward. Then our spending analysis, so we can really look at, you know, where the money is going, and which is probably going to be food. <laughs> and then you can actually um, fill in a little chart here, which may be kind of fun to do. And then we can actually fill in the, I don't normally fill out these types of things, but maybe it'll be helpful with for me. So we have our biggest wins. Did I meet my budget? If not, why not? Did I achieve this month's uh, goals? This is what I learned this month by tracking my expenses. I will do this within one month to improve. And then we have notes and ideas, another little like dotted tape, and then you start over again. So that is that. I wanted to show you it also has a savings tracker. So if you're putting money in your savings account, which unfortunately we are not right now, but if you were and what you might be actually saving for and whatnot. Um, so there's a, quite a few pages of that. And then we have debt tracker, which is what I will try to use. So currently we have two credit cards. It's all we have left. I paid off two credit cards this last year. Um, I just made the last payment in February on one of them. So I have two credit cards and we have a truck payment and a motorcycle payment 
and then our mortgage, of course. So I have no plans of paying off our mortgage in any time in the next 20 years. <laughs> but um, the truck will be paid off. A truck and a motorcycle, our goal, goal is three years. We actually have four and a half years of payments, but my goal is three years. So we can coincide with when my husband could retire at the earliest time. And so I will put that in there. Credit cards, I like to get paid off sooner. Um, but right now the goal is to get those bigger things because those are the bigger payments, get those done and over with. Um, so you can do a debt tracker here. And there's actually quite a bit. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of pages on that. And then we have holiday budget, holiday gifts, holiday spending. And then if you want to do your regular bill tracker. So I'm not going to use these pages, I don't think. Um, I mean, it could be interesting to see if things change, but my bills are pretty much the same. They follow the same pattern. Like our, you know, it's just me and my husband and our dogs. So our water bill is pretty much the minimum every other month, except for in the summertime when we water a lot. Um, our garbage bill never changes because it's the same. Um, our gas bill changes with the, with the season. How often we use our, you know, heater, air, same with our electricity, that kind of thing. But it typically stays within the same, you know, what it's supposed to. So I'm not, probably won't use this as much because we just don't have a lot of bills or a lot of fluctuation. Um, and then we have summary of the year. So we have our monthly expenses um, summary where you have your month, your income, expenses, different savings, monthly expense summary. So this may be actually, you know, kind of nice to see how it was every month and how it all played out so you have those and then you have a check register if you'd like to do that um and then i think that was it oh no accounts information so website password hint notes username that kind of thing which i keep all that in my phone and my phone is password protected and fingerprint protected so now i was gonna look i didn't even think look yet if there were stickers so all of the um what do you call it? Clever Fox stuff comes with like, you know, a little example, how to use it. And then, yes, oh my goodness, you guys, look at these pretty stickers. So we have one, one, two, three. So we have, this one's different. These two are the same. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. This will make it so much more fun. And then there's always a little place here there's like a little place here where you can, I can't do it one handed, where you can put the stickers and then we have our, you know, our ribbons and then to close up your book, here's this. So I'm gonna utilize the heck out of this thing. I'm gonna go feed my dogs and run out to the mailbox and see if my purse came in so I can give you a little show and tell on that. Alrighty, it came in, so let me show you this. And I think because this video has ended up being so long, <laughs> I'm going to, I know I said something about showing you my skincare routine and I don't think I'm going to make it in this video because it's already going to be so long. And so I think I will do it in next, my next video. Um, what do you call it? My next chatty video. Sorry, you guys know by like after three o'clock, my brain is gone. And then I just got a notification about a new Bones coffee. Y'all remember when I used to order Bones all the time before I got an espresso machine? Well, I've been kind of missing the flavored coffee because that was the only flavored coffee that I liked. So I have a bunch of points still from Bones um, because of all you guys using my code and stuff. And so I have so many, and plus you just get some also just on your own from ordering. And they have some new flavors I want to try. And they have this really cool looking decanter thing where you can just like, it's like a pour over thing where you just pour the coffee into like, a, I've never used those before, but I've heard they're absolutely amazing. And I think I have enough points to get one. So I'm thinking that I'm going to get one of those. Anyway, it came in this little bag. I got this off of TikTok. Okay. I've had some hits and some misses with TikTok, with the TikTok shop. Not with anything um, as far as delivery, but products. Um, I am trying to learn not to go along with the hype because I know they're getting a commission from this stuff. And I know not everybody is like a lot of people that I watch, like myself, you know, and I'll say it myself. I only talk about products I like, and you guys know that. Um, so am I gonna need scissors here? Yes, I am. Now crossbody is a must for me, just because that's what I like. 
Um, so this is supposed to be one. Um, okay. There are all kinds of, there we go. So here's the strap. Isn't that super cute? Um, this is Bost, Bostontitint, Bostitint. Okay, let me show you the name in case you wanna look it up. Okay. Um, the strap looks like it'll be long enough for, I made the mistake one time of ordering a purse from Amazon and it was not crossbody enough. Um, my favorite one is the one I'm using now and I got it through, through Mauritius and they, oh, did I get the one I have right now from, from Mauritius? I'm pretty sure. And they don't have any more. Oh, I don't know if this will be very crossbody, but we'll just see. But I love that pattern. Super, super cute. Even if it's not crossbody, I think I'll be good with it because it's bigger. So I should grab the one I'm currently using so I can show you the size difference. Tell you what guys, this perimenopause stuff is kicking my butt. I have not used that purse I was just telling you about that I got at Maurice's. I haven't used it for ages because it just was too small. And so I'm using my Nine West purse that I got at Marshall's. I have been using this thing all fall and winter. What the heck? Anyway, this has a, I think this is a much larger, longer strap. Oh, nope. This may be, oh, nope. Okay, it's the same length. It'll work, good. Um, I like this one, however, like it's, you know, even though it looks kind of big, it's not like I can't fit a lot of things in her because once you put your hands in there and there's just almost too many pockets that they get in the way of you trying to put stuff in it. So I got this one and you can see, I mean, as far as size, it won't, it's actually about the same size, but this is taller. So that's why I'm thinking I can fit my planners in here. These things always scare me. Like I'm sure that they're probably not good for dogs. So I always try to hide them. And this one has a second one that, don't know, it's not, not the same as the other. So this isn't quite as big as it portrayed on their website. Like it showed them putting an iPad in there. I mean, it showed all kinds of things. So I kind of call like, um, well, it does have this big pocket on the back, which that's kind of cool because I could toss like things like things I'm always losing in this purse, which is like my key card to get in the building at work. And then like my phone and my keys. Um, so it does have that big pocket. It has a little zipper on the back there. Um, I think I can fit my other planner. <laughs> Like these things are just hanging all over off, off of it completely. What the heck? Okay. And it also came with this little this little pouch, which I don't think I'll need. It's like a little wristlet, I guess, if you wanted to put like, you know, you want to just take this out and take it into the store without the rest of your purse or something. But I don't think I'll probably use this all the time. I may use it for like travel. Like, I mean, because I travel all the time. <laughs> no. Um, Inside here though, see, we have a pocket right here and then there's a zipper pocket also in there. So my wallet, which I like this one, the wallet kind of, you know, kind of matches. It's an old wallet. Does it fit? Oh, it fits in there perfectly. Like it fits in there. I didn't know if it would fit in there to fit that way, but it does. So this is a lot bigger than what it feels like. Yeah. Okay. I think, um, I think I'm gonna like this. I don't have a lot in my purse, but like here's like the key card I was talking about. Um, so I would ideally, I think, wanna put that in like the front because then I could just go like that in front of the key card thing because you don't have to actually have the key card against it, but I lose the key card constantly inside my purse. Um, but I think I'm gonna like this. So what do you guys think? I wanna say it was, I got it on sale. It was on sale. It was like 13 something because it was on like 50% off. I don't know if it's that same price anymore. I have no idea how to link anything from TikTok. Um, no idea. So sorry. I don't know how to do that. I have a TikTok, but I've never actually used it for videos. I just watch videos. But I think I'm gonna like this. I just have to figure out how to attach these straps. 
Okay, I think I like this. I love purses, you guys. I have so many purses in my closet. So many. Oh, speaking of my closet. Okay, so I think I'm gonna, I, I, this will be the last I probably talk to you in this video, but I don't know. I'm not gonna close out this video till tomorrow because um, every time I do that, then there's something I wanna tell you guys. And since I have a full day tomorrow that I'm sitting at home working, then I might as well just wait. Here's what it looks like with the strap on. Super cute, right? Super cute. Um, but I always end up coming up with something to tell you. So I figure um, I'll close up tomorrow. Even I have nothing else to tell you after this or show you or anything like that. Cause I'm not sure what I'm doing at lunch tomorrow. I may go somewhere and shopping or, you know, picking up errands or something like that and may find something totally awesome. So, um, but I do want to tell you that I have spring break coming up the week of March 25th. The only thing that I have to do during that week is go to a doctor's appointment and that's it. I am ordering some stuff on Amazon. I've been saving up my Amazon points and from like Christmas and stuff. And I told my husband I wanted to use that for the front porch. I have been wanting to really do a really pretty spring and summer front porch, actually any season front porch for a long time. All I've really done is just throw pillows on my bench and on my chairs and just hasn't been a lot of decorating. And I just, I am just wanting to be super pretty. And so I plan on redoing my entire front porch. Um, I have a bunch of stuff saved on my Amazon wish list that I'm gonna go in tonight and order so I can make sure, you guys, I live, here's the thing. I have friends that live up north. Well, I have one friend and you know who you are, who you go on, you can get stuff with in the same day or the next day. Lucky you, because you live close to an Amazon warehouse or something. Then I have friends that live in towns about two, three hours, well, anywhere between an hour and a half to three hours north of me. They get it one or two days from Amazon. If I were to look right now on Amazon to try to order something, it is Thursday, but it's Thursday, five o'clock. If I were to look right now, guaranteed, the earliest I can get anything is going to be Wednesday. No idea why. It's just, it's like four to five delivery. And I think it, well, I think it's because we don't have Amazon delivery drivers here. We don't have an Amazon warehouse anywhere near me because I live in the middle of nowhere, Oregon. So I have to order like today because my spring break is so I have, so that way gives me all of next week to get everything in because I want to start on the 25th. Um, after my doctor's appointment, my doctor's appointment is first thing in the morning. So that's my plan for the 25th, 26th, get my front porch completely done. I probably could do it done in one day. And then I'm going to do my closet. Time to get my closet cleaned out. Um, we have now two set extra bedrooms. So this bedroom here is my office, obviously. In my closet here are all of my sweaters, but some of them are still in my other closet, just never got them in here. So like my cardigans and then all of our coats. So me and my husband, both me and my husband's coats, um, all my cardigans, all my sweaters, all my winter clothes, all my Christmas clothes, they're in bins here on the ground. Then I have all my YouTube stuff. So I have like all my tripods broken and not broken, my lights, my ring lights, my other light, which is what's turned on right now. It's always set up because I don't want to have to get it off out of, you know, in and out. But I have products that I still haven't reviewed. <laughs> I have all those kind of things in this closet and then up above up here, I have a bunch of bins where I've just organized some of our just care overflow stuff that we have, like some office supplies, all the dog supplies, you know, like leashes and um, harnesses and things like that, you know, is in there. The other bedroom that's now our guest bedroom in that closet, I've kind of utilized as a utility closet. So like my mop is in there, my mop bucket, our carpet cleaner, which we don't really have, we don't have any carpets anymore, but our carpet cleaner, our vacuum cleaner, which we don't have anything to vacuum anymore, but those kind of things are in that closet. But in our other closet, I have like my husband's golf clubs. I'm thinking I'm gonna move them into this closet or even maybe that other closet on the other side because it doesn't have anything on the other side. That other one has extra blankets too, like our extra comforters, blankets, pillows, things like that are in the closet in there. But that's that those um, golf clubs take up so much room. So I wanna get those out and just put them in one of these closets. And then I have Goodwill stuff in there that I just never took out, they're just in bags. So I'm gonna pull all those out 
and get those to Goodwill that week. And then just get my closet completely done. I have a lot of documents I want to get filed away and my document holder is up there and I have a huge basket right now of documents, tax documents from the last two years that need to be put away. Um, so I wanna get that, those put away. I'm also kind of thinking about getting a document scanner and possibly electronically filing all of our documents plus also keeping hard copies. But I'm thinking about doing that as well. So that's kind of my plan and I will film all of that separately from my regular what I eat in a day. So I will be filming two videos at one time every day during that week of spring break. So look forward to that. But very cute, right? If somebody can tell me how to link something from a TikTok shop, I'll try to figure it out, okay? I will, and I'll try to link that because that's super cute and I love it. Oh, but that whole like rant was to tell you I have a lot of purses in my closet and most of them are not in good shape, but I love purses, like purses and shoes. I need to get rid of a bunch of shoes too, but purses, I collect purses and tote bags and I love bags, I love bags but I need to get rid of some, especially ones that are broken and frayed. And it's, I always think, oh, I'll use that. And I'll probably have a hard time throwing some of them away, but we're gonna try. We will try. So, okay, I need to go start getting dinner ready. I don't know when my husband's gonna be off work. He, they have a guy who has not been showing up to work because he says he's sick. They don't seem to believe him. I don't know. Anyway, um, I think it's a pattern. <laughs> so. He's thinking he's, and he's the one that works on Saturdays and he also works 12 to eight. So I don't know if my husband has to work until eight tonight. I'm gonna check in with him. Last I talked to him, he was on, a way to, on his way to a run um, to pick up somebody. So I am gonna find out, but hopefully he doesn't have to work till eight and hopefully he doesn't have to work Saturday. But he's only had one weekend off since he started working there because he's had to go in for this guy one time and then, and then before they didn't have to be hired for that position. So he had to go in there, then this last one time for this guy. And then they had a special funeral or something on a Sunday. So they asked him if he would come in and work. So he has worked, this last weekend was his first like full weekend off since he started at this job. So it was, it was kind of nice for him to have two days off. So I'm gonna go ahead and close up today's video with a few things I picked up at Dollar General. Um, I love my Dollar General, but I hate my Dollar General. Like when it first was um, put in down the street here, it I felt like it had like a ton of stuff all the time. And now like our home goods section is not as stocked as it used to be. I have to like get it just like when they're literally putting the stuff on the shelves. But I feel like we have pallets all over the place all the time. I don't know. Anyway, um, also my poor husband's sick, so he came home sick. So um, we won't be going out tonight, which is just fine with me, honestly. Like the thought right now, it's been such a long week and you guys know I've just been so zapped with my energy <laughs> this week that the thought right now at 4.47 to be able to just get into my pajamas and sit down for the rest of the night, sounds pretty dang good to me. <laughs> So we'll see if we go out tomorrow. He's not doing very well at all. He made it for about almost five hours and then he was like, nope, I gotta go. But, okay, so I picked up this cup. Look how cute this is. I don't know, I've only had one other like clear like coffee cup. This was $3. They had like four different colors, but I just thought this one was so super cute. Love this one. Then, I got a bunch of plants, but I don't need them, y'all. Like I have, I have fake plants all over the place, but I am obsessed. And you can always find a spot for them, right? Especially when you get little ones, but look at this one. Isn't that just so, so cute? Like I said, I always can find a place for them. Um, it, you know, it's just, just put them anywhere, anywhere, right? But isn't that cute? And they just look, to me, they look real. I mean, I don't know, the ones like on my shelf and stuff, they don't look bad, right? I think they look real. I have them all over the place. You can't really see, like I have some like right there, you know? Oh gosh, I shouldn't have done that. I have broken so many of my tripods. And then the last two, there's this one. Super cute. I think these were three and I think that big one was five. There's that one and then this one. I just thought this was, this is like a, you hear that ceramic or something? 
So, I mean, just this alone is worth $3. It's just so super cute. So, got those. Um, I just had to go for milk, but of course had to look at everything else because you know, that's what we gotta do. So, I guess I'm gonna get to go get into my pajamas and then sit down and do my meal plan, work on my planners um, and all of that. So, that is what we are going to do. Um, so I thank you guys so much for hanging in for this super long video. This will be going up on Wednesday. Like I said, it'll be a little bit after all the things I talked about. So I've already done my weekly check-in today. Um, I would have had, you know, all that stuff, but really nothing I'm telling you is relevant to it going up. So let you guys know, I don't like to do that. I don't like typically with regular videos, I don't like to have it go out like two or three weeks after I film it, unless it's, you know, book reviews or something like that, you know, but I like it to be relevant. So I figure Friday to Wednesday, not too bad. So I think that's what my plan is going to be. I'll just kind of do chatty vlogs Thursdays and Fridays, post them on Wednesdays, and I'll try to do that on a regular basis. But anywho, hope you guys have a fabulous week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.